What's up guys? My name's Tyler and welcome to another edition of the... Do you hear that? Not so soon. Guys, that's right. Fall is right around the corner and with it come the leaves. Lots and lots of leaves. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Guys, I've got some sort of what feels like a sick jet stream in my backyard that forces all my neighbor's leaves into my backyard. It's unbelievable. I've got a huge job ahead of me, so I really need the right tool for the job. Today, we're taking a look at one of the best in the industry, the Greenworks 80 volt electric leaf blower. We're gonna put this bad boy through the ringer. We're gonna talk about things like user experience and power and runtime and charge time, and then put some of Greenworks claims to the test and let you know what you can really expect. Let's dive in and check it out. So guys, if you don't know already, we obviously love giveaways at the Lawn Review. Uh, we ran a giveaway on a previous video with this another Greenworks product, their ShopVac, and we picked Ryan Blackburn as the winner. So Ryan, reach out to us on Instagram or email us. Our email information is in on our YouTube page. So just email us or, or DM us on Instagram. We will ship out the ShopVac right to you. So we're gonna be doing the same exact thing with this blower. If you like what you see and you're like, I want that blower, uh, all you have to do to, to enter into win this for free is to like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel and we will enter you into a drawing and maybe perhaps send it right off to you for free yes. all right guys so we're going to take a quick look in the box and let you know exactly what you can expect when you buy your greenworks 80 volt blower so greenworks gives you three different user manuals one for the blower itself one for the charging station and then one for the battery as well so you get three different manuals a tapered nozzle tip the funnel the blower motor housing the 80 volt charging station and then the 80 volt battery itself so in terms of user experience with this 80 volt electric greenworks blower we're going to cover things like the overall feel of this blower the versatility elements, and then like sound and weight and things like that. So the overall construction of this tool, how it feels, I will say I was really struck by how tight and how dense the plastic felt. Like these fittings between here are extremely tight. Um, it, it feels like a solid like one piece. It doesn't feel like I added a whole bunch of pieces together. This one feels dense. So guys, in terms of versatility of this tool, it is an electric leaf blower, so it pretty much blows air out, but you do have quite a bit of versatility elements with the amount of air that leaves this tool. You do have three different ways that you can kind of finagle with that. You obviously have the variable speed trigger. So just to, if you want a little bit of air coming out, you just press the trigger just a little bit. And if you want a lot of air coming out, you hammer it down and then you've got the uh, variable speed cruise control setting as well so and as you can see it kind of pushes down the trigger and then you obviously have my favorite the turbo button whoops so another user experience element to this blower, it's a little nitpicky, but other blowers have a more pronounced turbo button. And so I've actually got to keep my thumb all the way up here and push down. Whereas the turbo button on the Greenworks is almost flush with the handle itself. So it makes clicking it really easy. I don't know, honestly, I'll have to use this a little bit more to determine whether that's good or bad, but just keep that in mind that that button is a lot less of a push than most um, electric turbo buttons that I've seen in the past. So I actually think I might like that a little bit more. It's pretty easy to press and release uh, rather than having to keep your thumb kind of hiked up here to press down. 
So there is some versatility in the way the air leaves the blower as well. Greenworks does give you this tapered nozzle tip. As you can see, it kind of narrows at the point right here and funnels air, giving you a little bit more RPMs on the end. But if you don't want to do that, you can obviously just take it off. And uh, But if you're like me, <laughs> I'm always going to use that tapered nozzle tip. So to get this tool up and running, there's virtually no setup required. They do give you this nozzle and then obviously that nozzle tip, but you just slide the nozzle up on here like so and just slide it in and it locks in place and then you take the battery and just push the battery in the back right here and then you're ready to roll i really like the way that greenworks feeds their blower um and what i mean by that is basically you can see almost all the way around this blower you can see through and that means air can get into it so that means that you can blow more air through this blower uh if you're choking off uh the airflow or the supply of air that's really going to hurt your blower performance and Greenworks does a good job of basically maximizing the amount of air that can flow out of this blower. So Greenworks does also have a nice little LED light indicator on the back of the battery. When it's plugged in, you can just check uh, where you're at in the battery life so that you know if it's time to, you know, really start wrapping up your job or if you've got a good bit of uh, battery life left. So an often overlooked but really important part of the user experience of a blower is the weight. Uh, this one's going to run about 8.9 pounds with the tool included, but more important than that, which is pretty light in comparison to most gas power blowers, but what I really like about this blower is the balance on this thing. They've got this thing tilted pretty far forward, so when you hold it like this, its natural default position is going to point down. So you're not having to force it down and pull up your shoulder like this. As you hold it down like this, it's automatically kind of tilting downwards, which I think is really, really awesome. Hey, I love you. Dude, shut up. That is awesome sauce. So guys, another user experience element to blowers is the sound. How loud is it? Well, I saw online that this was advertised or s reported that it had 60 decibels uh, or put off 60 decibels. Uh, it didn't really specify whether that was with the turbo on or with the uh, throttle hammered down or what. So I don't really know when they were talking about 60 decibels, but 60 decibels is about like an average conversation. Um, and if you're with me, it's probably 70 decibels or so. Um, but I don't know about you, but... <laughs> That's loud even for me. Loud noises! So it's probably more in line with about 80 to 90 decibels, which is pretty standard amongst electric blowers just in general. But I will say one of the key things for me with electric tools just in general is that sound element in the control there. So if somebody's coming up to me and wants to talk and I'm blowing, well, all I have to do is let off the trigger and there's no residual like um, sound or the motor just uh, idling. It's, it's off. So this Greenworks battery charging station does put off a little bit of sound. There's an internal fan in there that uh, keeps it cool. So there is a little bit of noise, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, there is a light indicator that lets you know where the battery is at in the charging process. Obviously a blinking green light means that you're charging. It'll go solid green when the battery is fully charged and it will be a solid red light when there's a, the battery is overheated or uh, there's some sort of heating issue, whether it's too cold or too hot. And then a blinking red light lets you know that there's something else going on with the battery and you probably need to reach out to Greenworks and uh, try and get a replacement battery. Another user experience element and kind of a cool thing that Greenworks thought about is this little button right here. This is a spring action button. So when you put the battery in here, it's gonna be compressed. And when you press this little button right here, which releases the battery out of here, it kind of has a spring-like element out of it, which I have a feeling that they saw that because of this housing, you see how this is completely covered on all sides? Well, you'd have no way of pulling out that battery if this spring didn't work. So I guess maybe there's a slight chance that something happens with that spring-loaded kind of release for the battery, but it's a cool element on my end because when I'm ready to release the battery, it just kind of shoots out of my hand. I guess kind of like a baby coming out, just shoop. All right guys, so now that we've touched on the user experience, uh, kind of nuances and what makes this Greenworks 80 volt blower unique and different from some of the other models. And now it's time to hop over to the battery runtime and charge time tests. 
Um, obviously, Greenworks has their advertisements, um, but uh, make sure you stick around for some of these results because they they get kind of wild at the end. Um, but we really want to give you an, a realistic expectation of how long you can expect to be able to use this tool like in a given job. Guys, it's 1038 and I have a fully charged battery. I'm going to zip tie down the turbo button and see how long this lasts. So my zip tie idea is not working, so I'm just going to have to hold it down. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's 10.50, the battery is completely dead, and we had about 12 minutes of runtime on full turbo. All right, guys, it's 12.30, and I've got another fully charged battery. I'm going to put this on the highest speed of the cruise control setting and see how long the battery lasts. <laughs> All right, guys, it's 1247 and the battery has finally given out. So it's about 17 minutes on the highest setting of cruise control. That's how long you can expect on basically full blast without the turbo. All right, guys, it's 526 and we've got another fully charged battery. This time I'm going to turn the cr cruise control setting on the lowest setting and see how long this lasts. Should be here for a while. All right guys, it's 6.36 and we are still rolling. All right, it's 7.38 and we're still rocking and rolling. This might be a minute. All right, 8.25 and we're still rolling. Yeah, it's 9.36. 10.22 and it finally died. Like five hours of runtime. So guys, just a quick primer on what we mean when we talk about power of a blower. Um, it's often measured in CFMs and MPH. CFM is a measure of cubic feet per minute and MPH is, if you've driven a car, you know, it's miles per hour. So CFM is a measure or cubic feet per, cubic feet per minute is a measure of how much air is um, leaving a blower at a time. You can kind of think of that as pushing power. Um, obviously like uh, Niagara Falls is going to have a massive amount of pushing power. Like it's going to, it can move boulders. A lot of water is going through there. Uh, but something like a, a pressure washer has really high miles per hour. Miles per hour is kind of like stripping power. Like how, how easily it can lift up like things like wet leaves and things like that. If it's going faster, if the air is going faster, um, it's gonna be able to lift and move that stuff um, a little bit easier. So CFM's like how much you can move a lot of stuff and miles per hour is how much you can lift um, stuff that's kind of like heavier or um, kind of stuck. Uh, so that's kind of the way I think about it. Um, really you want a blower that's pretty well balanced on both. Um, Anything in the 600, 500 to 700 CFM range is kind of going to be best in class right now in terms of your electric cordless blowers. And then miles per hour, anything from, I'd say, 150 to 200 miles per hour is probably in that best, best, um, best in class rating. So Greenworks advertised power metrics are 730 CFMs with 170 miles per hour. So this blower is gonna be on the super high end of CFMs, especially for an electric cordless blower, battery powered, that's really high for CFMs. And 170 miles per hour is nothing to scoff at. It's definitely not gonna be the highest miles per hour that you can get out of a corded uh, battery powered blower, but it's definitely higher up there um, on the metrics. So I have a still backpack blower and a still handheld blower that are somewhere around the 180 to 200 miles per hour. So this is not that far off from that. And then extremely comparable CFMs. I think it's around 750 to 800 CFMs for my backpack blower. So honestly, I'm really impressed with the power metrics on this blower. 
So for the exact setup that I've reviewed today with the Greenworks 730 CFM blower with a 2.5 amp hour battery with a rapid charger, right now on Greenworks website, it's normally 250 bucks, but there's a whole bunch of different price tiers. If you only wanna buy the tool, it's a certain price. If you want to buy a four amp hour battery, it's obviously going to be like, I, don't, I think like 70 more bucks. So guys, just a quick recap on what uh, we thought about the Greenworks 80 volt blower. As you can see, I've kind of got the blower hall of fame, so to speak, um, behind me as it stands right now. In about a week or so, we are going to put a head to head to head comparison of the top three blowers in the game. So I won't compare too much uh, in this video about what I thought about its major competitors, um, but I will say that uh, some of the things that Greenworks does really well, some of these other blowers might not do as well and vice versa. So I'm really excited about that video, really excited to put it out for you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss when we release it. But back to Greenworks specific, uh, what I really liked about this blower, um, again, it's fully stocked with the um, cruise control setting, the variable speed trigger, and then obviously that turbo button. Uh, so user experience, there's not a whole lot differentiating it from its competitors. Um, the sound is about normal. I will say that the Greenworks blower has a pitch at times, especially when uh, I hit the trigger button or the turbo button uh, that can kind of get a little old after a while. It's kind of like a, it's not a really pleasing uh, pitch. Uh, and I am breaking a rule already, but there's another competitor that I feel like might have a little bit of a upper hand, especially on the sound. But all three of these blowers, and the Greenworks specifically, uh, crush a bit gas powered blower uh, in terms of sound. So that's a definite pro in my book. Weight also, this is like, I think I said like 8.9 pounds. Uh, so it's really light. And I really, really like uh, the detail that Greenworks put in, in terms of pitching the blower forward. I know that's not true uh, with a still blower that I've used for the longest time. I was always having to crank my shoulder up um, to kind of naturally pitch the blower down. This one, you don't have to do any of that. It's, auto it's automatically pointing uh, where you would typically be blowing. So I gotta say it, uh, one of the cons in my book um, is gonna be that runtime. Uh, 12 minutes on full turbo, 19 minutes um, on the highest speed of the cru of the cruise control or hammering down on the throttle. Uh, 19 minutes in my book um, is a little bit lacking, um, especially if you're used to a gas power blower. Um, but if you're using the Greenworks suite of products, the rapid charger charges it in like 20 minutes. So though it's a con, um, if you have a Greenworks mower and you're adding the blower to it or a Greenworks trimmer and you're adding the blower with it, typically you're already going to have a battery. Um, so you're going to get about 20 minutes on a single charge. But if you get that four amp hour battery, I don't I don't have it, so I don't know. But I'm env envisioning it, it being somewhere about 20 to 30 percent longer battery runtime. So overall, does this tool get the TLR stamp of approval? Yes, but I will say I'm really excited to show you guys when I walk in my shed right here and I've got this wall right here, which one am I going to pick up first to use? I will answer that in about a week or so. So again, hit that subscribe button because there is a particular blower that I reach for first. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's video. Again, if you liked what you saw and you wanna win the Greenworks blower for free, just like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and you'll be entered into a chance to win. Again, Ryan, hit us up on Instagram or email us and we will get you the Greenworks shop vac in the mail ASAP. Until next time, keep cutting. We'll see y'all again.